The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Spent some time in church Sunday evening looking at the names and the faces on all these candles. They represent the people buried through Holy Spirit Parish over the last 12 months. I knew most of them. Some I knew quite well. A few I really didn't know at all. I remembered something a priest I knew said at a parish mission years ago. He said when he thought to pray, uh, thought of the saints or to pray for the intercession of the saints, he didn't automatically go to the saints officially canonized by the church. He thought of the saints in his own family. These are the saints of our families and our parish. There are some real characters up there. You could say some of them broke the mold. Probably a good thing that some of them broke the mold. They were children of God. They were called by God to be faithful followers of Jesus, and they each lived that out in their own way. They were real people. They experienced joys and they experienced struggles. They inspired us and they drove us crazy. They were people who showed up and were a blessing to us. For the majority of these people here, maybe all of them, what they did isn't going to be known beyond this parish. I really don't see a canonization process being started for any of them, but that doesn't matter. We saw them, and we are the church. We are Team Holy Spirit, and we are part of the Church of Saginaw, and we know that these people helped us to be who we are. And most important of all, God saw them. God sees all his children and loves all his children. God wants all the children, his children to be with him in the kingdom. Today is the solemnity of all saints. And we celebrate all the saints. And we celebrate our saints. <laughs> 